Welcome to this tutorial, a comparison of Iron OCR versus Google Tesseract OCR. So to compare these libraries, we'll create two C-sharp console projects in the Visual Studio. For Google Tesseract, we have to install the Tesseract library using the NuGet package manager. Mine's already installed, but you can do this very easily too. So after installing the Tesseract library, just make sure that you have test data in the debug folder of your project. Uh, because it's a trained model which is used by Tesseract for doing OCR. So now we're going to close the uh, NuGet solution tab and move to the program CS file. Here we import the uh, Tesseract library first. After that, I will initial the Tesseract engine by giving a path to the test data folder and then we'll give a path of the test image. So we'll use this image for checking the compatibility of OCR libraries as it's rotated and a little bit blurry. So next, the Tesseract OCR engine will process the image for extracting text and we'll get the text from the response and write it on the console. So now we're ready to run the project and wait for the output. Tesseract OCR fails to get the text from the image. Tesseract identifies the page as empty and gives an error of low resolution. And it also gives an error of the low DPI uh, but we see that the image is clearly visible and has good resolution and is readable. So let's see the chart, which is identifying the defects of Tesseract. As we see in our program, Tesseract fails to handle the rotated and scanned image. It really performs quite badly at low DPI. Tesseract didn't pre-process images for a better outcome. Tesseract has no PDF support. Neither does it support Linux and Mac. Tesseract struggles to read screenshots and web formatted images. So next we're going to have a look at how INOCR performs using the same image. So when using INOCR, we have to install the INOCR library from the NuGet package manager. And by default, the language is English. So now we'll close the NuGet tab and move to the program CS file. First of all, we import the INOCR library into our program. And then next we'll initiate Iron Tesseract and then create an OCR input by giving the path of the test image. And then we'll use the skew function, which rotates the image to its original position and the denoise function removes the noise from the image and makes it clear. So after that, OCR reads the input and stores the output string in to the result variable. So let's run the program and wait for the output. INOCR perfectly extracts the text from the image. It's the exact same text that's on the image. INOCR rotates and cleans the image and gets the output text of a low DPI picture perfectly. So in summary, INOCR supports Tesseract 5, which is the latest technology. INOCR can read multiple documents easily using multi-threading for great performance. It can fix blurred images and rotate them to their original positions for a better performance. It can also pre-process the image for a better outcome. It performs very well with low DPI, as we see in our project. It doesn't require execution permission, and it also doesn't create any X file in the project. It also works with the MVC website, and it supports up to 127 languages, which is a huge number of languages and they can all be managed through NuGet. 
So I hope you found this comparison useful. And if you have any questions and would like to connect with our support team, they're standing by, ready to assist, as always.